Welcome to Amazing Archaeology here at Worthing Museum and Art Gallery. My name is James Sainsbury, I'm the Curator of Archaeology here, and today we're going to be looking at the Roman Chesswood Cemetery. Now this site was discovered over two different phases. First of all, in 1845, during the cutting of the railway line, workmen found around 30 Roman vessels, 200 Roman nails in a glass jar. We don't know a huge amount about these discoveries. They're actually noted by the famous geologist Frederick Dixon, but we don't know where these items are today. Later on in 1881, workmen were digging a trench for the Ladydale nurseries, and this is round about where Chesswood School is today, and they found more pottery. The landowner, Mr. Piper, noticed some pottery in the spoil heaps and asked the workmen to maybe be a bit more careful as they were excavating and to look out for any more pots. They managed to actually retain a number of these pots and they were found to contain human bones. So we know this is a cremation cemetery. The type of pottery here suggests it was in use around the end of the second century. So we have, for example, this wonderful New Forest beaker. Now these were made just near Fording Bridge in the New Forest. We also have wonderful pieces of Samian, and these would have been filled with food and, and other items to take to the afterlife. This pottery is made in southern France and is imported into Britain. It was very fashionable for that first century of Roman occupation in the area. But most of the cremations themselves sit in these. Now this is what we call greyware. It's locally made pottery. It's not for the particularly wealthy, but people were buried in these. They're actually used as cooking pots for much of the time. There's huge potential for further finds in this general area near Chesswood School and the roads around about. If you're looking in your garden, there may well be evidence for Roman settlement because where you have a cemetery of this size, and we think there was maybe up to 60, 70 people buried here in their urns, there's bound to be evidence for ditches, buildings and things like that. So do keep an eye out in your gardens. There's also real potential for further archaeology under the playing fields of Chesswood School itself. <laughs>